Hero FXB going to do an unboxing on the Bofeng UV9R triple band. So this has the 200 megahertz option. So just look here on the back. It says 136 to 174, 220 to 260, and 400 to 520. So it's a triple band version. I got it because I just like it in silver and black, and it's a different design. Um, so it looks pretty cool. Feels nice and solid. So let's fire it up and see if we can get it working on my uh, Hubnet node, which is what I would use it on mainly. So it's uh, quite a small on-off knob on this, and it's, but it's got quite a big torch, very big torch, I would say, and the antenna. So let's get the the, the usual battery on there. So that's, if you can read that, my eyesight is rubbish. 7.4 volts. Okay, so let's just get that in there. Get it the right way around. Now, interestingly, it does have like a, a power adapter connector. It's a bit blurred, trying to get a better focus there on the side so does the charger go straight into it so here's the charger let's uh, just see if it does go in there so no it doesn't so it must there must be a, a separate way of do it of doing that so okay fair enough right so let's just get it in there so it just click, clicked in quite nicely there you've got a slider on the bottom for removal yeah, and it feels like quite a nice, quite a nice weight. Yeah, it feels nice. So get the antenna on there. So it's, there you go. Usual Bofang antenna. Right. That's the thing assembled. So just show you, it came with uh, the usual headphones, the belt clip usual both and one and then the screws for the belt clip are here now, I haven't programmed this but if you want to program it by computer you're going to need to buy a lead they're about six pound in the UK but use chirp and it's very easy to program using chirp you can do it manually but it's quite long-winded when you add repeaters you've got to add them twice per you know per channel it's doable but it's long-winded so and then uh, the charger on these is uh, on this particular one it's um it is a mains powered one but i noticed that the new generation are coming the same sort of charger but they're coming with a usb lead sticking out the back and you just plug them into a five volt supply so okay let's turn it on Channel mode. so it's the usual bofeng type screen and so a b band with the the blue button here um and the vfo and frequency channel mode. channel mode so let's get frequency into frequency mode. mode and now to go to a band you just as, as i said just push a and then we're in the top section here if you want a twin receive just go menu, menu. seven and see that tdr where it says off just go menu push it up to on and then menu Confirm. so that gets you on you know twin twin receive then to exit of anything you just push exit here so let's get the frequency of my uh, node in a minute so it's four, four three, three four four, four hundred zero zero uh, g7k so i think it's a very nice looking set what i'm going to do is just make sure my yeah that's it's on simplex and so make sure that the break from We'll get the tone in there, which I think is menu uh, one three, and see this tone CTCSS. We're going to go up. Sorry, not up. We're going to set menu, then go up, and we're going to keep going until we get to seventy. Set, uh, actually, on on that one, it's one one eight. And we go menu, so we can exit that. Uh, VK6 D03. Do you mean the G7 RPG? Uh, Peter's not. Uh, uh, go ahead. So overall, I'll just say, 
I think it's a really good set. I really like it. I like the way it looks. Um, yes, this is golf three, Victor. I'm going to enjoy yeah. using this. And um, if I want to get, let me think now. You've got some, if you look at the actual buttons, it gives you a clue of what the menu would do. Because look, they've got the blue writing there. Uh, let's do the torch before we forget. So torch is the bottom button. As you can see, oh, glare. That, that's a... You know, they're just good. It looks like a proper torch. I like the way they've done that. Push it again, it flashes, and again. So it doesn't work any differently than your, any other bow funk. Now hit the um, this top button here. It's uh, and that's how you get your broadcast radio. Now it didn't do it, so I'll have to just work out. Unless it's unless it's possible that the triple band version, you know, the two hundred twenty-two megahertz, doesn't have broadcast radio, I will. Uh, if it hasn't, I'll put it in the description. Uh, let's just get off of a transmitting frequency. So let's go to, let's turn it up. Now let's hit the, the radio. Oh no, it, there you are. So one, oh, one. So, and I will program it now with my lead. I'll get all my local repeaters in there. And, uh, yeah, it is, it is, ultimately, it's just a Bofang radio. Um, uh, but this, I just love the uh, design of this, as you, can, as you can tell. So, go back into channel mode. So, we'll come out of radio. Go oh. back to my node. Get back to 400. Um, because now, if it... I think it will probably show up better if I select orange when it receives. So you go menu, can't remember which menu it is. If we go to the color, color on receive, I think. There's your offset. Uh, white LED, receive is blue. So we'll go menu and we'll change that to orange. There you go, that's better. You can probably see it better now. And I think on transmit. Three, three, six, three, three, six, three, 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 six, three, well, it clearly sounds as though you don't have a problem with the Nord. Um, uh, nice and loud. Good radio. So, I, yeah, I think I recommend it. UV9R um, and, um, you know, about 20 to £25 delivered to the UK. 7.3, all the best.